Agriculture has long been a cornerstone of our economic development here in Tasmania. And the rollout of Labor's investment in irrigation has the capacity to transform the sector and make agriculture a key driver into our economic future. Well, when Tasmanian Irrigation first started uh, three or four years ago, we saw ourselves mainly as a construction authority building important irrigation schemes for the state. These days we think we're a lot more than that. We're actually about developing the economy of Tasmania. Chris Oldfield, who heads up Tasmanian Irrigation, has overseen the rollout of the first stage of the scheme around the state. We don't build our schemes unless there is full support from the local communities, and we don't build our schemes unless the farmers commit substantial funds. Yes, I'm the fifth generation on here. Uh... Robert Dent is a farmer from the Northern Midlands. He has seen firsthand the benefits of irrigation. Before you were able to access the water that you have here now, what were you growing here? Traditionally we grow seed crops and although we can grow seed crops dry land, um, in the drought the yields were, were quite, quite low. So what the real value of this scheme is, is the surety of water. So that we know that we can finish a crop, like uh, a crop like potatoes. We couldn't have looked at doing before because we might have got halfway through, it would be a very dry year and then all of a sudden uh, you, you can't finish the crop. For, for us here, uh, we've, we've probably gone close to doubling the value of the land by just putting water on it. And so although the water is expensive, um, it, it looks cheap from that point of view. We've got, yeah, we've got some water, but we're reaching uh, the limit of that at the minute. Uh, we've developed some irrigation in this country around here, but now we'd like to, um, to gain more water to start to further develop the better country. Dryland farmers like Marcus McShane are eager to see the expansion of the irrigation scheme. It'll give us the opportunity to look at different crops, higher value crops. Uh, they might be, um, might be grapes, might be stone fruits, some of that really high value stuff. This scheme's part of what they're calling the tranche two of the Tasmanian irrigation funding and it's not certain at the minute. Hopefully we can secure some funding for it. As a member of the Tasmanian Labor Senate team, I'm working hard to secure this much needed funding. So when we do build the schemes, they're a true partnership. And we think the government by um, coming up with this model and this model being developed by um, the Board of Tasmanian Irrigation, really does set a, you know, a new benchmark on how infrastructure in this country can be developed. For too long we were um, trying to cut costs and minimal labour input and now with water we've got the opportunity to, to build that back again and get people back into the regional areas. So more jobs, more productivity and good for local communities. That's right, yeah I think we're on the cusp of major change. Labor's investment in irrigation is securing Tasmania's agricultural future. The investment in irrigation will actually lead to a billion dollar expansion in this sector and that will mean Tasmania is positioned into the future as a reliable source of food not just for Australia but potentially the world.